get this straight. My teacher is having a big ol' snooze with two burgers on the desk, and meanwhile, I am stuck in detention, and you'll notice zero burgers. This is a gross injustice, and I cannot take it a second longer. I need to talk with the detention teacher. Okay, excuse me. I need to speak to you about burger inequity. If you could just wake up. Yeah, oh, he looks cranky. Possibly I'm in more trouble. Erg! why would you wake me up? So here's the thing, I've been sitting here for four hours now, subtext, no snackies. I don't care, discuss it with the principal, but let me sleep. Sounds like I have just been released from detention. Time to leave class and find the principal. Thank goodness, nothing could be worse than waiting around in detention. Oh, look, I've got a fancy little flag and okay, are those bear traps? That's a lot of bear traps in the school hallway. Does the principal know about this? I guess I should probably tell them. It does seem like important information. My big question though is why were the bear traps put down to begin with? Like, is there a bear problem in the school specifically? Maybe it's because the detention teacher was leaving burgers out. Can't just leave food lying around and not expect to attract a few bears. I will put all of this information in my report to the principal. But before we get to the bears, I'd like to talk about alternative forms of punishment. I'm tired of detention. Wait a second. What is going on here? Is this the principal's office? I think there's someone in the chair and they're already seeing a student. Okay, that's a slow turn. Bit of a drama queen, are we principal? Well, well, what little do we have here? Oh, excuse me, sir, I was just about to ask, could I leave detention? Nobody leaves detention alive here. It's an ah uh, for me. Okay, my fellow student, what are we gonna do? Oh, apparently we need to build a staircase with the piles of homework around the room and press the red button. Wow, this is the only time I've ever been grateful that we get towers of homework in this place. Like seriously, look at the size of this stack. It is truly enormous. It's actually like four times taller than me. It's pretty mad. Oh, we got some more piles of homework over here. Yeah, this looks like my biology homework. I'll just take this over to the stack. Pop her down. Perfect. Then where did I leave my English homework? Ah, oh, yes, just over here in the corner. This one's actually a pretty easy class for me. It's only about twice as tall as my body. So I think it'll make a fine staircase. I'm a little bit worried about trying to walk on it, but that's a problem for later. I'm gonna press this red button. Okay, what's happening? Oh, the grate, it's opening. We've got ourselves a vent. Wait a minute, I'm not the first person to go in this vent. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Mostly paper airplanes and knives. Like a surprising number of knives. Can't say that's what I was expecting to find in here, but that's fine. I'm sure it's perfectly normal. Hey, what's this? We've got a formula on the board. Looks like we're about to do some science. Oh yeah, I am in chemistry class. Oh no, and I've got more homework. Complete the equation on the whiteboard by mixing the potions in the mixing bowl? But to what end? For what purpose? Maybe I'm creating some sort of potion that I can use in my battle against the principal. Cause you know, he did make that weird comment about like nobody getting out of detention alive, which is a bit disconcerting. But sure, yeah, let's, let's make a potion. That seems like a great idea. Looks like my mixing bowl is already full of green. Oh, I just gave my green a mix. We need green, we need fire extinguisher, and we need red. Ooh, a microwave. Wish I had a pizza pocket. Okay, let's take a little look at the supply area here. Ooh, a book. A book could be helpful. Maybe I can learn more about this potion in my book. Let's have a look. Oh, I think I just dissolved my book. I think it just disappeared into my bowl of green. Ooh, fire extinguisher. Okay, I need one of those. Now that I know that I can dissolve things into my mixing bowl, I guess I'll just add my fire extinguisher. Okay, and it completely disappeared. <gasps> and a green check. Okay, well, that is fabulous. Now I know how that works. I guess I can grab my other ingredients here. More green. More green for my potion bowl. Not green enough yet. Go, beautiful. And a bit of red. Add that into my potion bowl. I cannot wait to see what this makes. Ooh, a corked bottle. She's big, she's glowing, and she needs to go in the microwave. All right, add a little heat. Hope that doesn't explode. Okay, that's looking a little, ah, exploding. Oh my gosh, genius. Wait, where am I now? Okay, quickly, we gotta look through these lockers and find his set of keys. Okay, that was pretty easy. We gotta move fast while well, the principal is still using his exfoliation glove. He's probably too busy with his leave-in conditioner to notice that I have stolen the keys. And freedom awaits me. 
in the mechanical room. What's the mechanical room? I guess I'm about to find out. Ooh, okay, does look pretty mechanical in here. We got lots of boxes. We got wires. Oh, uh-oh, the power cables. Someone's been messing around in the mechanical room. Espionage, sabotage. But don't you worry, I'm gonna make sure that all these power cables are connected correctly. Obviously, this isn't my job specifically. My main focus is to escape an evil principal, but I am still passionate about learning. Gotta make sure the school has power, you know? We gotta keep the lights on. Okay, my next task is to make my way through the gym to the floor above. Sounds easy enough. Oh. <laughs> Don't let your guard down for a second. Okay, I gotta do a little bit of gymnastics here. Make sure that I don't touch the mat. We've got horses to vault on. We got trampolines. Oh my gosh, we've even got balancing beams. I gotta wonder though, what's my escape plan here? Like I'm getting to the top of the gym and then what? Also, I'm starting to get concerned about the other students. Like I saw another student in the principal's office, but I haven't seen anyone since. Also, the principal seems a bit unhinged. So I guess I'm worried generally about the safety of the students. Okay, I'll find a way out and then I'll go back for everyone. What are we thinking? More bear traps out here or something else? Oh no, call and enter the elevator. Okay. We go up, we go down, where are we going? Place your bets, are we going down to a basement lair or are we going up to the roof where we can escape on a helicopter? Both sound like pretty good options. Oh yes, we're heading up. Come on, helicopter. I mean, I'm not picky, I'd also be happy with like a paraglider or maybe a squirrel suit. What happened? Is the elevator stuck? How do I get out of here? Press the SOS button, that's how. Wow, okay, that's pretty dramatic. A rope, work your way up the elevator shaft. Uh, I'm not sure about this. This seems pretty dangerous. It's like I'm suddenly in an action movie. Wow, when the principal said that nobody makes it out of detention alive, I like kind of thought that they were speaking metaphorically. Now I'm starting to think that this is maybe exactly what the principal had in mind. Do you know what? I'm not gonna waste away in detention. I'm not gonna spend my life watching old mate just sleep in front of a couple of burgers. I'd rather take my chances in the elevator shaft. And this looks like it might be a way out of here. Come on, paraglider. Come on, squirrel suit. I would even be really happy with a flying fox. Yes, I made it to the top. And this elevator shaft is very exposed. That seems quite dangerous. Okay, are we on the roof? How are we getting out of here? What's our next move? Jump over the lasers, of course. Well, we all knew we weren't going to be able to escape this evil principle without jumping over a few lasers. Like, oh, that much is obvious. This looks interesting though. What's happening in here? <gasps> So dark, so scary. I think I saw something in the middle of the floor. <gasps> Search the cafeteria for the key. Why are the lights out in the cafeteria? I specifically went to the mechanical room and fixed all the electrical cords. This is so strange. Everyone must have left in a hurry. They left their homework and their suitcase and their green split pea soup. There's something very eerie about an abandoned cafeteria. So I'm glad I found this key. I want to get out of here. Does this key even open? Toggle all the buttons and climb up the rope hanging above the stove. Okay, no problem. What's for lunch today? Oh, this is just like boxes of sand. Someone's used pepperoni pizzas to make like stepping stones through this puddle. This is so silly. Toggle this button. And this one. And this one. And this one. Don't forget this one. She's a toggling master. Cool, cool. So what do I get as a thank you for all of my toggling? I get to climb up this exhaust fan. Now will this finally take me to the roof? Only one way to find out. Woohoo, I'm in an attic full of toxic waste. Most of this is left over from when the school did a production of Toxic Waste the Musical. It was actually fantastic, we got glowing reviews. Dang, I was wondering where someone put my cauldron. Heaps of junk being stored up here and oh my gosh, what is that? A haunted portrait of my evil principal? We've got some picture of Dorian Gray stuff happening here. Why are we zooming? Oh, they can talk! You're thinking you can hide here? Don't forget I'm watching you all the time. What do you mean you're watching me? You're just a portrait. Unless there's somebody hiding behind here and nope, that's just a picture. Okay, that is haunted, that is creepy. I don't know what kind of dark magic you're involved in, sir, but I'm gonna probably get out of the toxic waste attic. Starting to feel a little bit claustrophobic in here. Did I even use that last key that I found in the cafeteria? Really not clear to me what my escape plan is here, but we've got some unstable floorboards here in the attic. Lots of gaps in the floor, so we've got to be real careful. I am hoping, wishing, praying that this is going to lead me to my squirrel suit in the sky. Oh no, we're falling. 
back into the vent. Okay, where am I now? When am I gonna get out of here? Hey, we're back in the mechanical room. Or maybe this is a different mechanical room. Okay, place the ladder in the correct place and press the red button. Okay, looks like we're heading back into a vent. <laughs> really wish that I had these ladders when I was like making a staircase out of giant piles of homework earlier, but that's fine. The vent is open. Okay, back to the safety of the vent. Nothing can hurt me in the vent. Are we at all worried that the principal's also hiding in the vent? Oh, find the exit of the ventilation system. Okay, we've got a map. That's helpful. Okay, go straight, hang a left, hang a right, hang a left. Oh, and we've even got little footprints that'll help lead us to the escape. This is really good. Almost takes my mind off of all of the knives that are still scattered all throughout the vents. Like, honestly, what is that about? Also a little bit worried that there are like Zeds, like sleepy Zeds coming out of the vent. Like, who is sleeping in there? What snoozy monster awaits? I think this might be the exit of the ventilation system. And, oh, now we're in the toilet. <laughs> Search the trash cans for a hammer and break the toilet. Oh my gosh, okay, just um, engaging in a little bit of vandalism. Gonna check all these bins. God, there's gotta be a hammer in here somewhere. Got it. Time to take out my frustrations with the education system on this toilet. We need a safe learning environment for all students. And, okay, yep, that toilet is broken. To the sewers. Ooh, laser sewers. That's different. Okay, love, if you're a fan of my videos, if you watch them a lot, you will know that I encounter many sewers, heaps of toxic waste, and lots of lasers. But like putting them all together, I don't know, it's kind of a stroke of genius if you ask me. Oh, there's the button. Okay, I gotta trigger all of the buttons to open the gate. Just gotta get back through here, just quickly. Gorgeous, we're pressing all the buttons. Oh wow, look, the gate has descended. Is that where I gotta go? Kind of a bit disappointed that it goes down further. I don't wanna jump down into a hole. I wanna go up. I wanna go up onto the roof, up to my squirrel suit. Not sure why I'm so focused on the squirrel suit, but I do think that it would be a really nice escape. Like maybe the principal traps me on the edge of the building and he's like, you've got nowhere to go now. And then I just like jump off the building, just fly into the horizon. And then I am gliding on the wind. Laughing maniacally as I make my graceful, but yet entirely unexpected escape. Wow, this is a lot of toxic waste. This is actually where we put on the production of Toxic Waste, the musical. We had all the actors just like hanging out on these boards here in the middle of the toxic waste. And then all of the parents and, and our friends and family, they were just sitting up on the edges there. It was great. We lost a few students, obviously. A few people fell into the toxic waste, but oh yeah, just like that. See, I did a little demonstration for you of how dangerous it is. You must stay away from the, from the waste. You just instantly go unconscious. It was actually a pretty difficult during rehearsals. Can't help but notice, it does look like there's a rope hanging over that platform, and will this finally bring me to the roof? I'm concerned that it's only going to bring me to a final showdown, probably with my evil principal, but let, let's just climb up it. See, just for argument's sake, what if it wasn't a final showdown? Please be my squirrel suit. Okay, I am in prison. I didn't know my school had a prison, but I'm in prison. Time to pick the lock of the prison door. Can I just do that with my hands? Ooh, okay. I believe I can pick this lock. Let's see if I can do it. Just gotta get all of those on the red. Lightning fast reflexes, what am I telling you? Gonna have to ask the Parent Teacher Association why they've built a prison in the corner of the library. We barely have enough money for books, but there's always money for prisons, apparently. Uh-oh, the principal is not happy and he's descending from the ceiling in some sort of robot? What? How come you have survived my traps? Because I'm so smart? Well, I'm kind of surprised there, but what does it matter? This is your end. Oh, okay, I see how it is. It is time for a final showdown. Well, why does my principal have rocket launchers? Well, I have paper airplanes and they are extremely accurate. So best of luck to you, principal. You think you can outwit me? He's not even very quick with his rockets. He's actually incredibly slow. I have questions about that machine he's in. Okay. Oh, I think he's knocked out. This might be the end. Grr, this is ridiculous. I will put an end to this right now. You'll put an end to it. I will put an end to this. You are talking some pretty big talk for someone who was, oh, okay. No, I do see you've increased, um, You've increased your span with the rockets there. Okay, that is actually quite a lot more dangerous and it is harder for me to get my paper airplanes flying at this rate. All right, all right, I see what you're doing there. I mean, it is still 
paper airplanes versus rockets, so obviously you've got a pretty big advantage here, but it's, it's a David and Goliath situation, and I reckon that I will succeed eventually. I've got my trusty paper airplanes. They haven't failed me yet. I can just land one more paper airplane, I think. I think that might be it. Did I get him? <gasps> Wait a second, where'd he go? I think we gotta head this way. Hey, look, the key! Okay, I'll pick up this key, and what will that unlock? Where is the principal? Oh, I think it'll unlock this cell. But what does that lead to? Okay, what's this? Oh, thanks for playing. The principal has been defeated. I have left detention, and I still haven't got a cheeseburger. But I escaped with my life, and two out of three ain't bad. 